for me, the written word is so important. It's the only art that is so quiet and allows you to be ruminative and think about what you're feeling and why you're feeling it. Aunt Lude Books fulfills a central and important place in the literary world because its focus is publishing those voices that for decades and decades have been overlooked. I think it was Aunt Lute's um, just like commitment to nurturing emerging writers specifically, like writers of color and queer women of color uh, was something that very much excited me. I saw myself reflected in that mission. Aunt Lute encompasses all aspects of Joan, right? Uh, the ability to develop strong relationships with women and among women in community. Those pioneering texts like Borderlands by Gloria Zaldua, Cancer Journals by Audre Lorde, those books provided really deep, fruitful discussions among women about what it meant to be similar and different and to respect those differences. Joan has really held on to um, making this press work and has been very consistent and firm about keeping its central vision and mission intact. But it's been a very difficult 30 years for publishing. She really um, made an effort for every single person from the unpaid intern all the way up to the co-director, Shea Braun, uh, for us all to feel like we were really important pieces of what was happening. We all ate lunch together every day, no matter what. You know, no hierarchy, nothing, and sit and have lunch. And those lunches were amazing places. I mean, we would talk about the work of Aunt Luke, but we also, probably even more so, would just talk about our lives, politics, art, movies, everything. And it was a really special way to form a bond with the people you work with. She's created a kind of culture at the press with the internship program and the kind of mentoring that she's done over the years where she's really introduced so many amazing young women to um, the world of publishing and um, nurtured their um, participation. My relationship with Joan Pinkvoss started in about 2000. She contacted me about potentially publishing with Aunt Lou Press, and I was immediately taken with her careful eye to detail. I can still, I can still remember that experience of reading that story and going, whoa. Head man of the horse flies, you cannot stop what is coming. Il Pintabi's cries washed over me like a soothing rain. To me, he'd become a magnificent bird, his hawk feathers kettled in the air just above his head like amputated glory whirling in the wind. After his song, I was cleansed of fear. Editors tend to be people who are product-oriented and Joan Pinkvoss is process-oriented. That made all the difference to me. And the work proved itself. It's um, a seminal book in American Indian Studies. It won the American Book Award. It's been published in other languages. It's exemplary of our work together. Joan Pinkvoss, you rock. Thank you, Joan, for carving out these really necessary literary spaces and making sure that like newer voices are still coming in. This award couldn't have gone to a more deserving um, artist who's committed her life and work in San Francisco. I think I'm probably one of the luckiest people in the world in the job I have because I have learned so much, especially from the authors that we, that we work with. And when a woman comes up to me and says, that book changed my life. That book saved my life. That's, that's a proud moment.